Hi guys, Advanced Computing here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Pythagoras' theorem calculator in C Sharp. Now, if you remember a while back, I did this exact same video in Python, but in this video, I'll be doing it in C Sharp in Visual Studio Code. I will leave a link to the Python video in the description below. Uh, the first thing we have to do now is create a while true here, and this is going to be asking the user uh, for their uh, let's see this. Uh, okay, it's, this has to be. This will be asking the user for their first letter and their second letter. So in this case, uh, it's either going to be A, B, or C, and the second letter will either be uh, A, B, or C. Uh, now we need to create the if statements. So let's say, for example, uh, in the first one here, uh, it says here that if x is a and y is b, so that means if the user enters a when the, when it's asking for x and uh, b when it's asking for y, then it will uh, go run this if statement here. So it will ask for a, it will ask for b, it will change the uh, input into a double and it will change the second input into a double too. Then the c will be the square root of a squared plus b squared, here you can see, and it will write, console.write line, c is, and then it will print c. And then here is the second command here, which I will show you in just a second. So, oops, okay. So like this, the second command is uh, gonna ask us if you want to round the number. So I did this in Python 2. Here it's asking me if you want to round the number, if then type round, if not, then type quit. Well, then we have to um, create a string which will uh, be reading the input of the user here. And I'm going to call that string um, r, and it's going to take the user input. And then if r is equal to round, then obviously it's going to round the number using the math.round function in C sharp. It will take c, which is going to be our answer, and it will take n, which will be the number of decimal places. We're going to ask them that, and it will take it as an input from console.readLine. It will take it as an integer here because I'm converting it to int32. And then after that, it will ask again if they want to quit, and then they have to enter yes or no. Now, string d is going to be the input if for yes and no. If the d is equal to y, then it will break. All right. And if r is equal to quit, now this is all the way back up here, if you remember. Uh, R is this one up here, here. So if R is quit, then they can also quit from up here before rounding. So else if here R is equal to equal to quit, then they can just uh, quit from there like that. Whoops. Um, yeah, just break like so. Very good. So that is the first if statement. So it's mainly just only for if x is a and y is b. Now we have to do all of the other ones. So what happens if x is a and y is c? Well, again, we have to do all of this again. So it's the same second bit. It's just the maths that's a bit different. So the rounding is all the same though. So um, this is gonna be over here like this. Okay, so here, this was the end of our first one, okay, uh, and this is the beginning of the new one. So if x is a and y is c, then it does all of this. It subtracts c squared from a squared to get b. Once you have b, it's asking you to round it again, or type quit if they want to quit. Um, then if r is equal to round, then it rounds it up using math.round again. If you want to quit, enter yes or no, and same thing again. Brilliant, so that if statement is done like that and now we can just close it off like that and now we need to do the final one is it uh let's see here okay if x is b and y is c then they need to do a different um type of math says a different type of math um they need the computer needs to do some different calculation so if x is b y is c then of course they need to do c squared minus b squared so that will give us a and then again asking for rounding and if r is equal to round then it does the rounding using the converting the uh, number into an int 32 and then using the math.round so actually if you look into this math.round here um let's look into it see what it looks like so you see that it, the first one it takes is a decimal and the second one it takes is an int 
So that's why we have to put c and n. That's why we converted n to an integer. OK, and then it's breaking that. Uh, if they type yes, then it's quitting. And then if they type quit into the r, then it's breaking that. OK, so very good. Uh, now, the last thing is, of course, what if they type two of the same letters? Now, we don't want that. So we're going to change this um, else if. We're going to write this else if here, and it's going to say if x is equal to equal to y, then console.write line, sorry, you have entered two of the same letters. And that should be it, I think. So that is a Pythagoras um, theorem calculator in Python, in, sorry, not in Python, in C sharp. So yeah, it's pretty much the same rounding all along, except this bit changes, all of this bit changes, okay, depending on what you want to find. So that was the first one. Let's go ahead and run it, see if it works. A, B, 1, 2. Brilliant. So it did work. Uh, and if, it's, if I wanted to round it, let's see. Will it let me? So if I want to round to two decimal places. Yeah. And then it's asking me to quit. See if I want to put yes. Brilliant. Done. So that, guys, was the Pythagoras' theorem calculator in C Sharp. I will have a second video of this in C Sharp where I use a method inside um, the main here, static void main. And I can give you a little sneak peek at that right now, like this. These are going to be the methods, public static void, Python H, and Python S. So that was a sneak peek, guys. That's going to be the next video, Pythagoras' theorem using a method inside the main. I'm just going to call the video Pythagoras' Theorem 2. So, guys, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. That is all for this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.